we let them articulate those ones. The Kenya Association of Manufacturers and the Kenya Private Sector Alliance, while appearing before the National Assembly Finance Committee, now want Parliament to relook at the Finance Bill 2023, which imposes a 10% export and investment levy. When VAT was brought in, in regard to exported services, there was a dip in the industry. There are multinationals or service-based companies are relocating these particular services to be undertaken from, from Mauritius, from Dubai, from Rwanda, from Uganda. This only means that Kenyans are losing out on jobs. Give the industry a period of four years so that within these four years, the, those ones who have got projects, they can be able to complete. But those ones who don't have clinker facilities, they should have their clinker facilities. And there was a commitment. And various players are actually been in the process of doing what? Implementing their projects. According to the manufacturers, Kenya risks losing investments worth 100 billion shillings in cement, steel and paper industries, a move that will impact negatively on President William Ruto's grant plan to deliver 250,000 affordable housing units to thousands of low-income earners annually. Why would we want to make our products globally and competitive? We are leading now globally in avocado export, in tea export. Then you come and levy paper that is used to package these products. The minute you add um, your levies on this, your unga prices will go up. Because guess what? Unga is packaged in. So you can forget about lowering the cost of unga. We are here talking about housing levy, which is a big challenge to Kenyans. But on the other side, you want to monopolize and create bottlenecks for the construction materials that are going to, to build affordable housing. KAM and KEPSA have further told the National Assembly's Finance Committee that cement and steel industry manufacturers have already made plans to close shop and relocate to neighboring Tanzania and Uganda where taxation is lower than Kenya. Here, this industry, 100,000 jobs. And this is not something that will happen next financial year. If this goes through, you start seeing impact immediately. On their part, petroleum product sector stakeholders have also warned of a 17% increase in prices of the commodity in the coming months should the finance bill sell through as it is. Essentially what we are doing is financing uh, government through KRA, through a lot of... Um, we are putting our capital in KRA and it's becoming a very big issue. A lot of our members have left the industry. Others who made their submissions on the Finance Bill 2023 include advertisers and beverage traders. Philip Murutuke, 24, Nairobi.